Look at this right here. We're gonna take this all to the front and hopefully come out with a mega score on all of this. I'm stoked. Space Buns, are you stoked? Yes. All right, let's do this thing. I don't know what day of the week it is. I, I think it's Saturday. It's Saturday. It's like 7 p.m. or something. I'm taking a break from the Hollow Chronicles. Amazing, amazing charity auction to drop by Target real quick. Space Buns is way up there already. Sliding in to begin the weekly toy hunt. I am going to go in here and I'm going to look for the new AEW. Uh, someone pointed out the last time I was in this Target that I actually walked right past the AEW I wanted. I picked up a Funko Pop directly above the two figures I was looking for. Didn't even see them. My six foot three self just completely oblivious to the bottom shelves. So, whoopsie. I'm gonna go in now. <laughs> gonna try again. Round two. Fight. All right, guys. Diving right into the wrestling and Star Wars area. Immediately greeted with a Nick Jackson. Followed by our proud and powerful as I make a huge mess. Let's stack those boys back up. Oh, they're bent. That's why. Crushed. Not crushed. Crushed. Not crushed, still heavily bent. They won't stand on their own. Hot Mess Express here at the Morgantown Target. Do you have a fresh stock of Black Series here? So we got Zero, we got Tech, we got Aura, got Lando, we got some more Landos up there. Mission Fleet's looking good. Uh, Mochi Revelation, we do have a Beast Man up here, that's cool. Eternian Goddess, we've got Web Store. Bunch of Wave 2 Revelation, it looks like. Spike Ore, Tila, Skeletor. And we have our little Revelation stuff. Do have some McFarlane Mirrorverse stuff, and Jurassic Park Amber is looking pretty stocked. Uh, down here. Oh, there's a Dirtbag and Ground Chuck in the wrong spot. Hanging out where they don't go. Let's slide over. Oh, there's Colonel Mustafa. Rock. We got Carrion Cross. Tristratus. So we have one figure from 88 back there. Pink Cat Trish. And not too much else hanging out on this side of the world. So let's drop in over here and have a look at Marvel Legends. We got our AOA, we got our Mobius, tons of Eternals, lots of Vultures. Uh, down here, we have some G.I. Joes. We have our Snake Eyes stuff. We have our Lady J. And uh, Scarlet Snake Eyes up there as well. Transformers, we got our Ultra Magnus. Got our jolt, business as usual for the most part. DC, we got a Blight. I don't think I've ever seen Blight. Futures in Batman build. That's kind of cool. I like that skull inside that dome. That looks really cool. What a good piece. Uh, got our Green Lantern, two packs, and not much else. These shelves are really bare. Prime location for some hidden toys. We might pull up a couple of shelves if we get a chance. Super 7 Reactions hanging out on the shelf. Let's slide over to Collectibles and uh, Funko, see what's going on over there, though. All right, let's go down here. Last week, someone pointed out that I left those figures here on this shelf. Let's see. Are they still here by any chance? By any stroke of luck? They are not. It doesn't look like anything's here. Although, I did just see this arcade machine jump for no reason. I'm going to have to, like, watch my playback and see. Because that was really weird. All right, let's look over here. Got our Stranger Things marked down to clearance, $20.99. That's kind of cool. Got our WandaVision boxes. I do have those. Oh, we got some Cad Banes here on the shelf. Those are very cool to see. Got our Spider Man boxes here. Down here, we have our Killmongers, another Cad Bane down there. Uh, another, wow, there's a ton of Cad Banes here. I see four. Uh, do have our Sports Almanac. We have our Blue Hair Goku. We got our Reaction Super Sevens. Got our McFarlane Batman stuff up here. Yeah, no chases. Just the regular stuff. And that honestly looks like it. I don't see much else at all. Do you see some cool Gundam kits? I do see that Dilophosaurus. That is an awesome pop. Love Jurassic Park. I uh, don't see too much else though. All right, we're gonna make a second and third pass. We'll lift some panels, we'll have a look. Maybe we can come away with a win somewhere here. I'll catch up with you guys soon. Walking around, I just found this end cap right here. 
with a bunch of barbecues on it down the line. Look at that. We got our Andros up here. A couple of those. Got some Buzz Off, Attorney and Goddess. We have Sorceress. More Sorceress. Beastman, Stratos. We got that What If t-shirt right there. An extra large. Oh, you beautiful, beautiful son of a gun. You might be coming home with me. Uh, down there we got our DC Justice League. Got a bunch of bad cycles. Nothing that I really need. That barbecue is really cool to see in person. I do think I am going to grab this though. Uh, and we'll dive into some of these shelves when the aisles clear up. There are a whole lot of people here. I guess you'll have that close to the Christmas season at 7 p.m. There's no one here, so let's check this out real quick. Slide this down. Nah, trash. Let's check this one. There's an old Wolverine card, but that's it. The rest is just garbage. Put things back where they go. And uh, we'll keep moving. We'll keep having a look every now and then. There's a random rocking horse right there. What is this rocking horse guarding? Rocking horse, tell me your secrets. It's kind of cool. Guarding old Pez. Can't even get my camera to focus on it. You can keep your candy horse. I have no need for. Let's keep going. This whole aisle is completely empty. It's a perfect place to put toys that you're trying to hide, so let's have a peek. Garbage. Round two. Garbage. Round three. Certainly not least. Round four. Garbage. No dice. Zero percent. I think there are a ton of people shopping toys, so let's slide out of the toy section. Let's go over to furniture and just kind of peek around. Nose around the ottomans a little bit and see if we can't find anything. I just realized I don't know where those are. But I do see one random semi-empty shelf down here. Let's see what's going on. Just a random check. All right, now that the employees have passed, let's just have a random peek. Nope. Clearance tags only, boys. Clearance tags only. Let's move on. All right, while we're over here, let's just hit the die cast section real quick. We've got our muscle machines, we got our matchbox, we got our monster jam, some Hot Wheels here, we've got a Mario Kart, we've got our Batmobiles, our Star Wars stuff, Avengers, some more Mario Kart, and then uh, some tracks down here. I think I might try to get my son into Hot Wheels tracks before long. Those look kind of fun. I really enjoyed them when I was a kid. Might be something we can get into together, maybe. I genuinely think this Target might be a bust. I mean, besides seeing the cool Black Series and the crushed up Series 7 AEW stuff, there's really not much here. I think I uh, might slide over to Walmart. Later days. All right, so that Target, mm, kind of a bust. I did pick up that What If Blacklight shirt, which was kind of cool. Let me do my uh, stereotypical point. WrestleMania sign, or the Walmart sign in this case. Like four car alarms going off for no reason. Welcome to Morgantown. Going into Walmart, looking for AEW, looking for Best Action Turtles, looking for clearance deals, looking for fun. Where has the fun gone? I gotta find some. Space Buns is up there. We just got some coffee. Uh, I was a little hangry, I was a little cranky there for a minute, but coffee has helped that subside. Let's go into Walmart, we got stuff to find. Let's go. All right guys, dropping into the collectible section right here. We're at Morgantown Walmart. We got our Moon Pies. We got our Bobby Fricks. We got some clowns. We got space buns gravitating towards the Toonie Terrors. We got some Gundams. We got our Iron Hammer. Some Funko Golds. And then, wow, this Funko section's kind of loaded. But it's still loaded with all the junk from the last year. We've got our Pan Am Stewardesses. We've got our Fortnite Zoe Pops. It's we, This stuff's been here forever, guys. 
Hard pass. Let's move on to the action figures. All right, well, we're in the toy section. We're about to get it in, guys. I'm excited. There's a Bray Wyatt hanging on the bike helmets. You don't go there, Bray. Sliding in here, we got our basic boys. Got our Skeleton Gods. Got a Liv Morgan. Looks like we got a restock of 85. Some 85. Oh, what? Seriously, front of the peg every single time. I can't literally notice every time I come here. Very front of the peg. No one wants that Otis. There's a Celebrations ETB down here. That's kind of cool to find. It's also some John Cena's. Some uh, Turbo Men. And some more basic boys back there. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna take a peek around the corner real quick. Because there's some folks in that aisle. And I'm not trying to talk over them. BRB. Alright, aisle's cleared up. We're back in business. We got our Rock. We got our Cena. We got some tech. And a Zero up there. Got our uh, Spartans, got our Zuko's, got our new Fortnite's. There's more Black Series over here. Bunch of, wow, there's a big old peg of Lando's with a zero on top. Magneto, oh, best action turtles. You beautiful, beautiful turtly turtles. I can't believe I finally found these. This box is huge, guys. Next to my head for comparison, this thing is monstrously big. How dope is that? What a good find. Oh, there's one that's popped open. Hold on. Someone has already ripped one open here. Oh, those are so cool. Love it. I'm going to put that back, though. I don't want to encourage anyone to open figures and thumb through them, but that's cool to see. Got our Beast Wars. Got a Turbo Man. Uh, Snake Eyes G.I. Joe. Uh, not too, too much else, honestly. It looks like business as usual for the most part the rat trap there's uh, some beast war stuff the shadow panther wheeljack tracks uh, a couple power rangers down there a xenomorph lenard alien his tanks yeah there's not too, too much here so besides this best action turtles which is 75 dollars by the way guys this is very awesome to find i'm very excited however i am not excited about that price tag. $75, a little bit much for that. Let me get it over here on this side. That might be your thumbnail. I like that. All right, let's keep looking. We're gonna slide over to clearance, see what we, what the heck? What? I, why is this here? Why is it always this Walmart in Morgantown where we find black series that doesn't belong on the shelf? This is, what, what year is this? 2017. It's a four year old 375 Black Series figure sitting on the shelf of Morgantown Walmart. I, what the heck? There's Lucky. I don't know what to say about this. I'm gonna scan it, find out the prices, but this should not be here on the shelf. Just like that loop we found on the shelf the other day. This does not belong here. Let's put this over here. We're gonna stack it on top of this. We're gonna get a new thumbnail shot because this might be part of the video. That is insane. What the heck is going on? Let's take this. Let's get rolling. Let's get out of this aisle. Let's find out how much he is. So I just scanned this with my phone, the Walmart app, and it rings up as a 375 Lando Calrissian. Is that Lando Calrissian? I mean, it might be under the helmet. I don't know. Uh, that's weird. But it rings up for $11. So I don't know if I'm going to get him. I might, but I don't know. I don't have words. Bunch of Paleo Treks and Shadow Panthers behind me. Looks like a Scorponok as well. Oh, there's a bunch of Transformers up here. This must be like the toy stash space. All right, I'm getting out of here. I know you can take this to the register. Later days, guys. All right, sliding down this pathetic looking clearance section. There's Boglin for $20. That's kind of cool. We got some cups. We got some boxers. We got some shirts. Uh, we got a Paw Patrol thing. We got a Stitch. It's another bog one over here. That one's kind of cool. It's orange and black. I like that. Got some... What is that? 13 Days of Horror Collectibles from Juji Ito. That oh, was open. And it's literally mystery box. I don't play mystery boxes. What do we got down here? Ghostbusters Paranormal Collectibles. That's another mystery box. And more boglins. There's boglins everywhere. There's boglin fever here at Walmart. I like this orange and black one. If I got any Boglins, I'd pick him up. He looks like a jack-o'-lantern. I dig it. All right. 
Let's go find a way to scan him because I want to get him on video. Uh, let's go. All right, so, hi, it's me. Uh, why are you backing up so far? Because it's you're really close I up. I want to be really close. So this right here, when I scan it, because they don't have scanners anymore because this is 2021 apparently. You see that right there? It rings up Lando 375 for $12. That is not Lando. Definitely not Lando. It's so weird. Why is this on the shelf in 2021? I'm going to put it back on the shelf though. We don't need this, but it's cool to see. So as I'm leaving the Walmart with uh, a little bit of goods I got, there's two random jars of open marinara sauce on this light pole. I, I feel like I want to know the story. Why is there open marinara sauce Morgantown Walmart at 8 p.m. in the parking lot? There has to be a fun story with that, right? Like no one opens marinara and just leaves it for no reason. <sighs> That's going to bother me. Let's go. Next stop. All right, guys, before we head home, we have one more Walmart to check. This one is like tucked in the mountains. This is backwoods Walmart. Uh, we found some good stuff here last time. So fingers crossed that continues. She's so little. Wait, for comparison, her next to me, she barely comes up to my chin. Little. Let's go. One more time. Okay, so we immediately made a beeline to this clearance section here. Remember the clearance section that I showed you guys last week where everything was like 80 cents off, like 40 cents? Like it wasn't, wasn't a real good clearance deal at all. Well, I got on my Walmart app and I started scanning everything. All of this stuff I started scanning and it turns out that everything is way cheaper than the price listed. Like, let me take you over here quick. These fig pins, $7, they ring up three, $3 each. This Batman statue right here, $5. Uh, this Marty McFly NECA says, uh, 20 bucks, $29 on it, six. Batman Grapnel Launcher, 25, four. Sun Goku, 10. Fat Thor, six. I am about to clean out this entire section. These Deadpool statues, 49, scans for 20 bucks. I'm about to scan everything in this section and I'm gonna buy a, look at this cart. All clearance junk, like literally 80% off. This is about to be a massive score. I'm stoked. Catch up with you guys soon. I got a lot of scanning to do. All right, guys, I think we've scanned everything in this aisle. I, I almost want to buy this for 20 bucks, but I don't like Deadpool, so it's gonna, it's gonna hang out. This entire aisle, look at this right here. We're gonna take this all to the front and hopefully come out with a mega score on all of this. I'm stoked. Space Buns, are you stoked? Yes. All right, let's do this thing. All right, guys, we're in the action figure section now. I'm still burnt out from all that scanning over there I just did. Wait till you guys see this clearance haul that I'm about to pull. Waspinator, Track, Shadow Panther, Grinder Ravage. We have our little TVs here. Going down a little further, we have our, well, we have a Villains Wave back there. We have a D Plus, 375. Look at Vision. I haven't seen Vision before. That's a really cool find. Uh, got our AOA, more Villain Doom. Got our Aang from Avatar. DC, we got our gold label, Azrael, we got King Shazam, our armored Batman. Got Black Series here, we got Tech, we got Zero. Everywhere we go, we seem to be hitting this Black Series wave. Got a fresh stock of Leia's, Princess Leia from Endor. Uh, got some Playmates Turtles down here. Let's see, let's see. We got a random pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, got some Pokemon hanging up. Look at all those, look at those ETBs down there. Looking good on the ETB front. Turning around, we got our Spartans, we got our Mochi Revelations, got our Movie Rocks and Cenas, we got our Frankie Kazarian, more Cenas, more Rocks. Uh, not seeing too much going on, honestly. A couple Battle Cats. Not much happening in the toy section here. Let's slide over to collectibles and then we gotta start checking out because we have a lot going on. I'm walking down the aisle and I found the shipper of all the carbonized figures. The Shore Trooper, we got Incinerator, got Moth, we've got the Armorer. That's a cool little shipper. I dig it. All right, onward to collectibles. Let's go. Actually, wait. We're already in collectibles, I think. I go to so many Walmarts, I don't even know anymore. Let's go look just to be sure. Nah, it's a different collectible section. It just looks exactly like the other ones for the most part. Uh, we got our Redeemers, we got our Jigsaw Masks, we got our Jasons, our American Werewolf. 
got our Back in Black albums right there. That's kind of a cool find. What's behind it? InSync. Back in Black and InSync. And another InSync back there. Stay Puff bobblehead. We got Stan Lee bobbleheads. We got Biggest Smalls down here in Funko Pop land. Got a Parks and Recs. I uh, don't see too much that I need to cop here on this end of the world. There's more toys in the garden center, it says. So let's slide over there real quick. Morning, guys. Oh, that's hot. Ooh. So I just woke up a few minutes ago. Wanted to record a little bit of a haul from this week's toy hunt. Um, wanted to show you guys these, this deal, essentially. Uh, you guys saw most of what happened on this toy hunt. But what I didn't get a chance to show you guys is that Walmart clearance haul. It's absolutely wild. I have my receipt here. I don't know if you guys can really get a good look at it or not. You see a whole lot of minuses right there. What happened was the Walmart that I go to in uh, that weird little country town, like the, the country Walmart where we were last week and everything was only like 80 cents off in the clearance section. Well, this week I had some time to kill, so I took my Walmart app and I scanned a bunch of the items I was interested in with the Walmart app and they rang up cheaper on the Walmart app than they were labeled on the shelf, which is great. We like that a lot here. So I got a ton of stuff, almost a cart full of things uh, for me, for my children, for space buns, stuff that I thought we'd be interested in that was ringing up much, much cheaper and uh, I took it to the front. I talked to the cashier, I scanned a few items. They did not scan up at the Walmart app price. They scanned at the price on the box. So I told them, I was like, hey, I scanned it with my app and rang up this price. I wanted to pick it up for that price. Let's do this thing. And they agreed. So I ended up getting a ton of stuff. Everything you saw in that cart, I got for less than $80, uh, which is phenomenal. And I just wanna show you some highlights, some, some little highlights. Number one, we got this Batman Q-Fig right here. This is $25 on the box. Uh, I'm not a big Batman fan, but for eight bucks, I will buy this all day. I paid $8 for this. Into it. This Marty McFly Battle of the Bands NECA that says $29 on the box, I paid $7 for. Seven bucks. Steal. All day. Fat Thor, picked Fat Thor up on clearance there. Um, I actually picked this up for a guy I don't know the name of. He stopped by my work, told me he watches my videos and he was looking for one, so found one, dude. Stopped by my work. Let's get him to you. Uh, I got a bunch of like little crappy things for uh, my daughter. This right here was $11 on box, it rang up for $1.50, so cake. Easy, easy, easy. Uh, Halloween projection lights, little ghosties. It says $5 on the box, rang up two bucks. Definitely needed this. Uh, this whole stack of fig pins right here. We have got a ton of them too. We got a IG-88, we got Rogue, we got Jubilee, we got Grogu. I paid three fifty dollars each for these. So I'm not a big fig pen guy. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Uh, but for three bucks, like I'll take a flyer on that. I don't care. Also got one of these uh, Lego music video makers right here. It says thirteen dollars on the box. I paid four, so I'm stoked on that. And then I got a bunch of other little odds and ends. Um, some Halloween costumes. Uh, I got some lights. I got a, a ring light and a few other things, all for clearance. And I'm just absolutely blown away by it. Uh, Let's see if I can't show you guys a few highlights real quick on this receipt. It's very, very difficult to show. But you can see that right there. Last night, eight bucks. Uh, NECA, it's like nine dollars after tax. Like, it's not too shabby, guys. I think I got a killer score. Uh, I'm very excited. I picked up a ton of stuff for a very, very little amount of money, which is great. Ooh, one more thing. I also picked up this Wacky Racers model kit. It says fourteen dollars in the box. This rang up two fifty. Uh, I will gladly build myself a Dick Dastardly and Mutley car. Like, how cool is that? I dig it. It's fun. Also, while we were out on this trip, we stopped at Target and we ended up picking up this Blight figure. I know it's street dated, but they did not say much to me when I bought it. So, Blight is mine. Also, 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 we picked up one of these What If Blacklight T-shirts. Uh, I don't know that I'm gonna open it, but it's cool to have. I really liked Marvel Blacklight show really like Captain Carter and Doctor Strange in that show, so I'm very glad to have it. 
Not so sure why uh, T'Challa's on the cover. Uh, I might have picked someone, Ultron maybe, to be on. But I get it. We're going for heroes. Excited to have it. Very, very cool. Other than that, it was a very productive toy hunt. We didn't get too, too much, but we got enough to satisfy our hunting glands today. So, I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Uh, still going through all these retro Ghostbusters I got, trying to see what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. A lot of really awesome stuff. Retro Power Rangers in there as well. I'm just kind of doing things. Working on Christmas cards for all the channel members. If you guys haven't become a channel member yet, now's the perfect time to do so. You can get yourself Christmas cards, some stickers, and a handwritten letter from Old Sleeping Collectibles for only $2.99. Uh, I think that's it for now. I'm going to get ready to go to work. I got some stuff I need to work on. I'll catch you guys soon. Later days. Good night. Oh, that's still hot. Sleep tight. I hope all your collecting dreams come true. Later days.